Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Partalista with one more video. Today we're going to talk about how to mount a Azure Data Lake folder to Databricks because not always you wanted to use the built-in storage of Databricks. It comes with a DBFS which stands for Databricks File System. So what often you would have your data, your data lake either in Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud. And you want to just, just point to that lake and then do all your data processing in Databricks. And that's probably the most common scenario. So I'll teach you how to do it in easy step. Just for this demo, I'm going to create a new Azure account, uh, a storage account. I can just quickly here doing less than a minute. Just click storage account uh, and then I'll put create storage account. And then I'm just going to use um, that subscription. I'm going to create a new resource group. I'm going to call Databricks demo. And then I'm just the way standard, uh, zone redundant. Next, uh, because I'm going to create some folders, I'm going to enable hi hierarchical namespace and then access from everywhere. Encryption, it's all good. Tags, uh, validation failed. What's happening? I need a name for this storage account. I'll just call it Data Bricks mount demo i'll call it 42 let's see if that name is available looks like it is available it's going to be in australia which is closest to home i think everything else is the same i'll just do a review i'll click create and then it's going to take a few minutes i'm going to pause the video Okay, it looks like the storage account is created. I'm just gonna go here and create a new container and I'm just gonna name, uh, just for the example here, my container. Great. Yeah, it's here. And then what you do is you open a notebook in Databricks and here's the sample code where you have to do it. So what you need to put here is the container name that you've just created. Just copy and paste. Yeah. Uh, your Azure Blob Storage name, which is that name here. Yeah. So the mount points name is how we're going to call you in your Databricks file system path. So in my case, I'm just saving my uh mount into mount mnt slash my mount if you see here on my it's on this path and then everything inside this folder usually is where i put my mounts on my data lake i already have three here i'm just creating a, a fourth here so and then it comes with that symbol with which it looks like a, a s3 bucket but it can be from any cloud provider. So that's going to pop up one here. But the name that's going to pop up here is not the name of the folder here. It's the name that you give here. In my case, my mount. So the only thing left to do is the secret key. You just go to your storage account, access keys. You just grab one of those keys here. It can be one or two. And then you control V, you have your key here. And then interesting is you only have to do that once. So once you run that cell, it's done forever. Unless you wanted to unmount and then you have to, uh, let's just first mount this. And then if everything goes well, it should return true as a return of that cell. Obviously you need to attach your notebook to a cluster that I already have a running here. 
So I just spin up that first to save time. It takes about three to five minutes to start a cluster. All right. It worked, so it returned true. So if I go to the Explorer here and then refresh that, we should have a mount here called My Mount, okay? It hasn't come up with the bucket yet, but later will become that bucket. And then inside here, so I'm gonna make some chains in my container. I'm gonna create a folder called Sales, which I'm gonna put some files to do a demo. As I create this folder, if, and then I go here back on my DBFS and refresh that, I'm gonna have that sales thing. So let's just dump some files here. Get in and upload. I have some CSVs here. I'm gonna dump there. Upload. But if I go back here, probably all see already. Yeah, it's here. Just to finalize, I'm just gonna query those files into a Spark data frame. I have the uh, sample code here. And then I'm just gonna read all this file with that um, asterisk.csv, which you're gonna stack the files because they have the same header. If you wanted to unmount this uh, folder, so to unmount the folder, you just use that command here, dbutuse.fs unmount. And that's it, the mount has been unmounted. Yeah, it's no longer here, it worked. And that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video, and see you next time.